Welcome back to the fourth episode of TLJ Garage. Today, my wiring harness came in so I can finally hook it up and hopefully drive it. Well, cat's out of the bag, and I guess I'm going for a first drive today also. As you can see, the car doesn't look like it's ready, but I'm ready, so we're just gonna do it. So today's agenda is I'm gonna be putting my fuse box back in so I can get power to the car. That will allow me to turn it back on because it hasn't been started in like two, three, three weeks, right? As far as you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, in order to actually run the car, we're going to be hooking up the radiator and the radiator actually sits up bolted to the frame, which I don't have. So that's an issue. We're going to have to figure out how to mock up the radiator and hold it in order to go for a little test drive. Now we're not going to be doing burnouts. Maybe actually I shouldn't be promising that. I disagree. If my car's on the road, I'm doing burnouts. No questions asked. Serious. Fair enough, buddy. Um, but we will be just going around the block mainly and testing out the clutch because in the first episode when I did drive the car, the clutch seemed like the grabbing point was pretty bad on it. So I definitely want to take it out onto the street and just kind of feel the clutch, drive around a few blocks, and then that way when I pull the engine I'll know exactly whether I need to replace the clutch or not. So right here is my wiring harness. This is how it shipped. Basically what this does is everything here connects to the engine, tells the engine what to do. Mine is obviously ripped like I already showed you guys, so I just decided I'm gonna do it by code and replace the whole thing. And this is how it ships, so basically what I have to do is kind of open it up. So I can already see this right here. There's four wires. This is where the spark plugs are gonna be, and I can tell because they have a red clip. So I need to kind of just lay this thing on the ground in the way that it sits in the engine. And then the main thing is gonna be finding out where it goes behind the engine, because I don't know if I can replace that without taking out the engine. I'm assuming it's here, but we'll find out. So after that, what I discovered is that these are all the pieces that plug into the computer. Basically it goes straight back, branches off here onto those wires, so I'll have to trace those into the car. But this is gonna be the part that goes behind the engine, and luckily, from what I can tell, there's no plug, so I should be good to go. Now what I'm gonna do is just go to the car, look at this as a reference, and only take off the stuff that I need to, and then replace it with this. Should be perfect. So houses come with keys, um, Corvettes come with keys. Corvettes also come with frames. My Corvette didn't come with a frame. This is the last key to my car to finish it. So you guys, here's the reveal. We've got a brand new 2015 Z51 Corvette frame. We got the radiator from a Z06 Corvette. That'll be fine. Um, and I'm just so excited to throw this into the car because it's gonna be back to spec, everything factory. It's all brand new and it's just gonna be great. This is going to be the major part I'll be working on over the next couple episodes, I'm thinking. But for now, let's just get this car on the road. So one last thing up that I'm going to do is my rear tire is actually popped. I'm not sure exactly why it popped, but we'll dig more into that later. But for now, I'm just going to run the front set of tires that came off of my C6 Z06. So yeah, I'm just going to jack up the car, throw this on, and that way I'll be able to take it for a drive without a flat tire. Now that we can install this piece of the suspension, now all I need to do is pull off the wheel, basically backtrack what I did with the control arm, undo that nut, and then it should free it up, throw this one in, and then my suspension will be completely done. And we were debating on pulling his engine, obviously, just because all this wiring mess is a big job, and we don't know exactly how it wraps around the engine, so that's something we'll figure out as we tear into the car more and more, but for now, um, I'm not sure if we're pulling this engine, but this engine is for sure coming out. So stay tuned for that, guys. So after that, kind of basically small stuff that we already know how to do, the big problem for me comes with this side panel, or what's it called, rocker panel. Um, and in addition to that, the seats are all locked up. So what I need to do is connect it to electricity, pull the seat forward, and then I can kind of take care of this. But for now, I can unbolt this piece and then hopefully not find more damage under here, but I'll be able to know for sure if it's damaged deeper. Another thing with the seat belts right here, 
Uh, we're obviously going to try to hook it up to power to move the seats forward, but we also have this bolt to mess around with. We can try to undo that and see if it will loosen up some tension, but that's just going to be something we're going to have to figure out on the fly, yeah. and we're going to be completely capable of that and just do it as code. So for my front suspension, it's two bolts right here. It was kind of tricky. I had to jack up the car so that it would take pressure off of this, but I got it done. Two bolts there, like I said, two bolts down here, and it comes right out. So now you can really see how much Jeez. this thing is spent. So my new one should look a lot better and get this car finally driving straight. I think the new one's straight, right? No idea. Stole it off your car. So it's really easy to get the control arm in. All you have to do is jack it up with the Daytona get it lifted a little bit and then it just pops right in. Initially we were trying to use um, Newton's Law C using our muscles and that was a little bit difficult. All you gotta do is jack it up and it goes right in. suspension i'm completely done with the car my guess is that it's going to drive straight but we won't know until we're on the road also don't mind the turbo because we don't know if we're turboing these yet so i got the fuse box installed it went very smoothly and i also got the ecu installed um, this is just kind of mocked up. I got, got some zip ties holding it together um, and this is all for our first test drive. So I'm also going to do a little dummy proof taping and this is going to ensure that my computer that costs what, what a thousand bucks? I don't know. I just need to make sure that my computer that runs the entire car doesn't pop out of the housing and get crushed and wreck my car again. So I'm going to be taping it with electrical tape all the way around. And just like that, that should be able to hold about 200 miles per hour. We won't be going that fast because we need a supercharger first. All right, so once these Bebops are installed, the next step will just be hooking up the battery and I should have power to the car. If I don't, I'm pretty much screwed. And then I will probably be going home pissed off and not sleeping very well tonight. Um, other than that, I got to hook up Tucker's air intake that I'll be stealing from his car right there. Um, mm -hmm because my air intake still needs a little bit of work. So we'll be hooking that up to the car and then going for our cruise like we promised. So right now the wiring harness of my engine, if you look at the wiring harness, I'll show you in a second, but a lot of it has like a um, heat reflective tape on it. All of that stuff goes down to the exhaust. There's tons of plugins. Two reasons I can't reach them and they're way deep in there. I guess one reason I can't reach it. So what I have to do now is pull out the exhaust. It's not that hard, it's just a lot of bolts. I think it's like 30 bolts that hang on to this um, where the exhaust and the drive line goes. So I have to pull this off, undo the exhaust, drop it down, and then I can get to all the clips and replace the wiring the right way and do it by code. Check this out, buddy. I'm serious. So here's the plan. We've got the radiator attached, we've got the piping all attached to it, but what the issue is, we don't have the frame to hold it up because the frame goes out here and this all bolts into it. And it is basically on a block right now. If it wasn't on the block, it would be on the ground. So in order to drive it, we don't want to have the radiator scraping the ground. So we have a solution for that. We're going to be drilling into this block. Go ahead. So now we got a perfect hole through the block. What we're going to be doing is on the subframe right down the middle, there's a spot where it can actually bolt straight in and this piece of wood will be going outward. The wood will be able to support the radiator, allowing it to stay off the ground. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do it by code and do it by plan and TLJ out. Pretty much what he's saying is we know what we want and we know what we're going to do. So we're just going to do it. Yep. TLJ in. Perfect size, buddy. 
So right now Tucker's gonna put it down to where I was showing it. We'll show you the bolt that it's gonna bolt into. Whoa, earwig. Dude, get this on camera. Oh, earwig, earwig. TLJ extermination. Nice, buddy. Got him. All right, so what we were talking about is right down here, there's this bolt, it's right there. So this is where we'll be able to put this bolt through and it's gonna be dead center down the car and it'll hold up the radiator somewhat perfect. Just like that. Yep. All right, dude, that's almost a gallon. That should be good for the test drive. All right, a quick recap before we go for the very first test drive. We've got the radiator attached. It's on the block. Um, we've got the air intake attached. We've got all the piping to the air intake attached. We've got the fuse box in. The oil is full. The coolant is full, almost. And yeah, I think we're just about ready. We just got to hook up the battery and then we'll be clicking the start button, seeing what happens. That's greasy. Pretty strong, buddy. Got lights. Time for a drive, buddy. You excited? Very excited. I'm kind of nervous, but not really. All right. Clutch in. Neutral. And. Just what we needed a dead battery. Oh, there's something. Whatever you did worked. Buddy, pull your battery. All right, so we got a dead battery, but we got a quick TLJ solution for that. We're just going to jump it with the Z4. Are you kidding me? Right now we got the Hyper Blue STI hooked up to the battery and this should give it enough juice to go. So let's just try it. <laughs> let's go! We're running. Guys, we are running. Let's take it for a spin. Okay. So you guys just saw that thing start up, it sounded amazing. Um, it took about seven tries with the battery to get it going, but it's time to drive this thing. We've talked about it enough, let's just go for it. So I'm gonna start the button. You're leaking coolant, but not enough to be worried about. How much? Barely any. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we found the leak and we're gonna fix it. All right, so right here, that's where it was leaking. Turns out we had this hose flipped around. So this kind of T bracket was all the way up here. We got it, so let's drive, buddy. Come on. Give her hell. Holy cow, these things sound amazing. Really good. Well guys, one drive just wasn't enough. I literally just have to take it around the block one more time. It's crazy. I cannot explain how good this car sounds. Let's just give it some bones, buddy. <laughs> Dude, what did we buy, buddy? Clap it up, clap it up. This is crazy. This is crazy. That was enough for tonight. You guys will have to stay tuned. Okay, so right now we just pulled the car back into the garage. Um, me, I've never owned a Corvette, but this thing is absolutely insane. I can't wait to drive mine now and I'm definitely more motivated, but once you hear this car, once you see it on the road, it's like mesmerizing. Easy, but yeah, it's super loud, crackles and pops, makes all kinds of supercar noises, and we just can't wait to keep getting to work. Yeah, this was just a crazy day for us. Honestly, we've been hyping this moment up for like this whole episode. Little did you know, I honestly didn't think we'd be driving this car. Like, did you think? So we said we'd be driving it, but did you honestly think we'd be driving it? I knew for a fact we'd be driving it, but I didn't think that the engine would be running. 
Okay, fair enough. I honestly didn't think we'd be driving it for this episode. I knew we'd be driving it soon, but we pulled strings together, tied it in a knot, and it created bunny nets, and now we're on the road. So it all worked out, and this was just awesome. We had a blast, and congrats, buddy. You're in that one. No better.